I want you to know that I'm proud to serve as your school superintendent. And each day we come to work to give your child the very best education possible. Thank you so much for supporting our schools. Welcome to East Gaston High School. Hi, I'm Dr. Kimball Thomas, the proud principal of the Mighty Jaguars. We like to think of ourselves here at East Gaston as a school on continuous improvement and emerging with the nuances of technology and instructional practices that need to take place in the 21st century. to prepare students to make sure they're ready for a very global and competitive economy internationally and nationally. Uh, we do this by having ninth grade students come into a ninth grade center academy. We have this these ninth graders separate from other students so they may learn all the nuances of high school and acclimate themselves to the way of work at high school. We extend some of the middle school concepts with respect to team teaching and common planning time and making sure that they have an instructional curricula that is conducive and challenging for ninth grade students. Uh, we challenge our ninth grade students to explore learning. All of our classrooms use a model differentiated instruction where our teachers lecture for a very few minutes and talk about the expectations of learning that would take place in the classroom. That way we cover all ability groups, students that may need further reiteration, students that can move on into enrichment. Students move from a whole group to group centers and have cooperative learning and back to another whole group model. This tends to bode well for students and allow them to work at their pace and every student continues to answer one essential question or several essential questions that are in the classroom for that day. All of our classrooms are designed this way. As students matriculate from one grade level to the end, other. They're challenged to do algebra, geometry, biology, U.S. history, all high school students across the state of Florida and America are challenged to do. Our students are well prepared because I make sure that we keep highly qualified teachers in the classrooms here at East Gas and all students deserve high quality education. We have programs for all students here. If students want to engage themselves in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, we have those STEM programs here at East Gasson. We have agro-sciences class in plant and biotechnology. We have medical and health science classes and medical skills. We also pride ourselves on the emergence of technology in the classroom. We have six bona fide computer labs that engage students in computer-based testing. Uh, we also challenge students when it comes to Microsoft and all the other aspects and accessories of Microsoft, whether it's Excel, Access, Outlook, PowerPoint, and teachers engage students with these courses that they might get industry certification. Technology, we also have response clickers that students are able to, in a very discreet way, respond to a stimuli, and then the teacher can look at it and have those discussions with students as far as their correct response or incorrect response without doing any type of embarrassment to the student at all. We use smart boards in classroom and making sure that the instruction takes place. Not only are the teachers engaged with the smart boards, but students are engaged with smart boards as well. Um, technology continues to emerge itself. We would do point-to-point -point connection classrooms where students will look at video clips and have live webinars with professors at Tallahassee Community Colleges who's a partner with our school for dual enrollment and have our students be able to take online dual enrollment courses as well and have students from other bearing schools. For example, West Gas and students will also be engaged with a classroom setting that's taking place here at East because of our point-to-point -point connection. So as we look at embracing in the emergence of technology with instructional practices. Uh, East Gaston is on the forefront, I believe, when it comes to these type of you know, nuances in education that we all have to eventually embrace. We also have other elective classrooms with respect to our junior ROTC, where students are taught about leadership, education, and training. Whether they make a decision to go into armed forces or not, these students will get the aptitude and fortitude they need to be able to embrace whatever career or college choice they make. Well, the student at East Gas is on a college education track or a career education track, we have enough things in place here at this school to be very comprehensive in what we do, and we're very proud of it. This is a very safe campus. We have students engaged in conflict resolution, where students are taught how to sit down and have uh, 
conversation with and to each other and not at each other. We talk with students about resolving issues in a very civil and amicable way. We tell them that everyone in life is valued and we try to make sure that they understand that they value each other. My name's Judge Helms. It's my privilege to be your school board member from District 2. I enjoy working with parents and students and our community leaders. Students are our first priority. Gretna Elementary School is a great school because it has great teachers, great students, and a very involved community. Then we take the corners, remember, like I said, it's paying attention to detail. You bring one corner up. Bring the other one up, keeping it straight. Folding in and out as we go. Everybody keep it up, everybody else. All right, take the bottom. Fold it towards the top. And again, pressing it out. The other step is you fold that part that you took to the top, fold it down halfway. Okay? Now, let's flip them over. Flip it over, flip it over, flip it over. All right, we're going to take those and we're going to tuck those two pieces in. Stand him up. And the last step. Right on the last step, just pull it down gently, gently. Let's see what we got. Looks good. Good. What you got? Looks good. Okay. What you got? You getting that? All right. Good job. Good job. Parasol, what you got? Okay. You've done better than that. You know it. What we got? Ah, oh, come on. You need some help on it? All right. Let's start all back over. You just experienced one of the many aspects of one of our emerging elective programs, our culinary arts, where these students actually sit and learn all the information they need to understand about that particular profession. These students prepare and test for serve safe certification, which gives them the opportunity to be their own entrepreneurs, open up their own mom and pop stands, be a part of a restaurant ship as well. We're very proud of this program. They go on the pro start where they can go into the more judicial and financial situations of owning restaurants economics and business through the food service industry. Very proud of the program. As you can see that Chef King does a marvelous job with it and I hope you, that you learn something about how to fold a napkin properly. Yes, what you see right now is, is one of our STEM programs, our medical science classes. 
these students are well on their way into medical fields. These students will do a very good job with respect to whether they choose to go into the field or not because of all the things that they're learning in this classroom right now with Ms. Grimsley. Um, as you can see, this classroom is set up for both the pedagogy of the instruction and methodologies of the field as well as the clinical experiences you see with the beds in the back and the other medical apparatuses. We're very proud of these students. This is a very rigorous selection process for these students. They're some of the best and the brightest that we have to offer not only in Gadsden County but also in any school district. They can be very competitive not only national wise but international wise as well. These students have tremendous GPAs, wonderful aptitude, and achievement scores. We're very proud of these students, this program, and you'll be hearing more and more about this as we highlight all the great things here at East Gaston High School. What you see right now are students um, they're doing atypical things that you would do in a regular hospital or emergency room or a triage center. Um, these students are the first um, cohort group for this program. They came in as ninth graders. They'll continue to matriculate through our program and we'll add a cohort group every single year. So incoming ninth graders that are interested in medical skills will start with this program as well. And by the time they're seniors, they will be able to test for industry certification in this field and leave here with not only a high school diploma, but industry certification in the medical skills, as well as hopefully dual enroll and leave here with an associate of arts degree too in the field. So we're very proud of the program again and as you can see these students are very depth at what they do. Find the shape style color outline blue accent one to the text box on page two of this document. Washika, if I was to ask you how to perform this task, what would I do first? It says I need to save the text box as a building block in the text box together. As educators and parents, we work as a team to help our children become successful in life and to have all of the skills that they need. One of the most important skills is the students knowing that they need to wear their seatbelt every time they're in a vehicle. It's the law and it's important to their futures. Please remind your children to wear their seatbelts. Your children are our children. Let's keep working together to keep them safe. Thank you. Given polygon is a rectangle, then it is a square. That's the original statement. What is the converse? It is a If a polygon is a square, then it is a rectangle. All right, for the converse, how do you find the converse? It's piece Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glucose, sunlight, water. 
what? Okay, good job. Okay, can you write the entire, um, you know, equation for the process of photosynthesis? <coughs> you can just write the word. Zola Akins. I am a reading coach at George W. Monroe Elementary in the Gaston County School District. It is both a privilege and an honor to serve this year as the Gaston County School District Teacher of the Year. My philosophy of education involves the fact that all children can learn through motivation and inspiration. Lacey Moore and I'm a first grade teacher at St. John Elementary School. I have been honored to be voted the Rookie Teacher of the Year for Gadsden County Schools and my philosophy of teaching is simple. You need to remember that all children are children and they can all learn. They just need a little push here and there and they can succeed in the classroom. Good morning East Gadsden. I'm a direct your call. Sure, help please. Well, this is our greenhouse facility. Um, this program is only in its second year of existence, my first year here with the program. And these kids have worked so hard um, from where we started the beginning of the school year. We have plants available for sale now to the public. They are mostly indoor house plants, office type. Our students have a goal to put a plant in every classroom and office in our school, and we love to spread that out into the community. Um, Right now they're pruning, they're weeding, and doing all the maintenance that we do to upkeep. We also use this facility for propagation and also for plant identification as well. We do have a community garden um, that was sponsored by Action for Healthy Kids grant, but our garden and greenhouse would definitely not be a success without the generosity and support of May Nursery. Um, they have donated countless amounts of soil, pots, equipment, labor, and just a tremendous support to this program. As you can see, uh, we all have our FFA t-shirts on today for FFA Shirt Day, and those were generously sponsored by Gadsden County Farm Bureau. So a very special thanks to them as well for supporting our program. We are in our second year of the plant biotech program. It's been very successful, as you can see. We have a wide range of plants, and students learn to identify them, they take care of them, they take care of the diseases, they monitor diseases. We are particularly grateful to the school district for having allowed us such an opportunity. And 
the number of students are growing in this program. This program, the Greenhouse, is also open to the community. We invite community members to come and take a look at the plants and we also make the plants available for sale. The expectations are high here at East Ganson High School. We make sure that students understand that we want high expectations because no one rides to low expectations. So therefore, students have this sense of urgency about meeting those expectations from classroom to classroom, from program to program.